Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you implementation of order statistic using red black tree. Let's see definition of red black tree. Red black tree is a binary search tree with extra bit storage per node, each color, which can be red or black. Every node is either red or black. The root is black. Every new leaf is black. If a node is red, then both its children are black. For each node, all simple patches from the node to descendant leaves contain the same number of black nodes. Red back tree ensures that no path from root to leaf is more than twice as long as any other path, so the tree is balanced. Basic operations search predecessor, successor, minimum, maximum, insert and delete, take O of logarithm n time in the worst case. Current slide shows definition of a node in order statistic red back tree. It has one more field than usual red back tree. It's a size which tells us how many nodes are in subtree rooted at this node. For the root of the tree, that will be the number of all nodes in the tree. Besides size, there are fields like parent, which is a pointer to parent of a node, left and right, which are pointers to left and right children of a node, key, which is a comparable value that is assigned to each node, and a color, which is either red or, or black. Here we see example, red back tree without needle leaves. We see binary search property, which is that for every node, its left subtree contains nodes with keys smaller than the keynote, and right subtree keys larger. For example, for node 32, which is red, its left subtree contains nodes 30 and 28, and right subtree 34 and 36. In addition to that, red back tree properties are preserved. Every path, path from a node to leaf has same number of black nodes. For the root, we see that it's a free. Now let's define rotations, which will be used in inserting values to red black tree. Pointer structure is changed through rotation, which is local operation in a search tree that preserves binary search tree property. There is right rotation and left rotation. When we do left rotation on a node X, we assume that its right child is not null. The left rotation pivots around the link from X to Y. It makes Y the new root of the subtree, with X as Y's left child and Y's left child as X's right child. Right rotation is symmetric. Now let's focus on cases that appear when node Z is inserted into the red black tree. We must bring back properties of red black tree. First case is when parent of node 4 is red and its parent is left child of a grandparent 7. Additionally, uncle of node Z, which is 8, is red. In this case we make uncle and parent of Z black and grandparent of Z red and also Z becomes its grandparent. Case 2 happens when uncle of Z is black. Here uncle is node 14. And when Z is the right child of its parent. <coughs> Here we perform left rotation around node 2 and node Z becomes 2. Last case is when uncle of 2 is black and Z is left child of its parent. We right rotate around node 11, then color 11 red and color 7 black. Now let's see implementation of red black tree and I told the statistic of that tree. As I did, I use Visual Studio and the project is a Win32 C++ application. We can see a node struct with all the fields. Additional field is integer size, which is size of a subtree rooted at node. Then we have our 
are but three class with field root. Method rbinsert is responsible for inserting new nodes to the tree. Here y is parent of x, then we dynamically create node z. Then we go down the tree from root to leaf assigning these fields including size to 1. Next we call rbinsert fixup which brings back tree coloring property. The while loop iterates while Z parent is red. First if clause checks if Z's parent is left child of a grandparent. Then we initialize uncle to grandparent right child. First case is when uncle is red. If so we color Z's parent and uncle black and Z grandparent red. Then we assign Z to its grandparent and iterate through while loop. Second case is when, when uncle is black and Z is the right child of its parent. Then we assign Z to Z parent and left rotate around Z. Last case is when uncle is black and Z is left child of its parent. Then we color Z's parent to black and Z's grandparent to red. Then rotate right, right around Z's grandparent and assign Z to its grandparent. Further we have symmetric case if Z's parent is right child of its grandparent. Next we have function get order statistic which is a main focus of R battery functions. It takes a parameter i of i order statistic. First we check if i is in a low range. Then we have while loop which iterates until current node is not a null pointer. If i is lower than size of left child of current node plus one, then we assign current node to its left child. So we process left subtree of current node. If i is equal to size of current node left plus one, then i or the statistic is a current node and we return it. Else if i is greater than size of left child of current node plus one, then we assign current node to its right child and update i by subtracting size of left child of current node plus one or difference of current node size and size of right child of current node. Another case is when left child of current node is null. Then if i equals to one we return current node key. Otherwise we process right subtree of a current node. Remaining part of the source code is printing red back tree in, in the window. Let's run the program. We see 6th order statistic to be 12. We go to 12 node from the root 20, then we choose its left subtree rooted at 10, then we go right to node 16 and update i to 1. Then we finally go left to node 10. Path from the root is colored green. Let's see the path from the root for i equals to 16. The order value is 32, which is correct value. For 18, it's, 20, it's 36. And for i equals to 19, it's 38. That's all. Thank you for watching.